So during my last visit to Gran Canaria, I visited about 90 of the best reviewed hotels and came up with a list of about 20 of the best ones. You can find a full list of those on my website, but in this video, I just want to cover a few of the best ones. The ones I personally felt are the more authentic, more original, more unique, the more special hotels on the island. The ones I truly feel that I can advise to you today to book today and I know for sure you will have a great holiday. In this video there's a lot of different styles of hotels. There's adults only hotels, family holiday hotels, beach hotels, all inclusive hotels and all of these in all different price categories from the budget to the very expensive but I know for sure there will at least be one hotel in this list that is the ideal one for you so pay attention a little bit to the description to what I'm saying so for sure you will pick the right one for your holiday. The first hotel I want to include is the Sol Barbacan. This one is located centrally in the Mas Palomas area of Gran Canaria, a very popular tourist destination on Gran Canaria. Um, this one is located very centrally, so I mean very close to many of the shopping centers where most of the nightlife takes place and also many restaurants and bars are, but it's also not so far from the beach either. In the hotel itself, you will find lots of different pools. So for the children, for the adults, you will find a little bit of everything here and it's a very very family friendly hotel with entertainment and a nice little setup with little bungalow houses but there's also apartments you can find everything within this hotel. So I quickly wanted to point out that another reason I selected these hotels over other ones was the location. So not only will you have a great hotel but it will also be in a great location for that specific hotel. The next hotel is the Lopezan Villa del Conde. This is located in the Meloneras area of Gran Canaria. In my opinion, the newer, it is the newer, but in my opinion, also the more upscale, fancy and classy area of Gran Canaria. It's a very impressive, grandish hotel, uh, but it still has a big but private feeling. So, I mean, everything is broken up into little uh, town squares and little areas, little pools. So you don't don't feel like you're a thousand people around the pool. No, you're just always like 20 or 30 people around the pool. So it feels much more private and personalized than many of the bigger hotels you will find in this area. In my opinion, the Lopasan, they have many great hotels in this area, but also in Gran Canaria. This, I think, is one of the nicer ones. As a bonus, you also have a beach in the hotel and just a hundred meters walk away from the hotel, you have another great beach. The next hotel is the THE Puerto de Mogán, the census collection. This one is located in Puerto de Mogán, one of the more authentic feeling destinations on the island. This is getting a little bit changed over the last couple of years. There's coming more development, but still it feels really authentic place in Gran Canaria. One of the reasons I really like this destination is because of the large choice of many different restaurants, especially in the, in the port area, in the marina area. There's many, many restaurants where you can really relax relax and enjoy in the evening. The hotel itself has an ideal location right next to the sea. There's even like a little stair so you can just from the hotel dive directly into the sea. So if you're a beach person, this might be a good beach and sea person. This might be a great place for you. And also the hotel is not very big. So it really has this cozy, compact feel. If you don't like hotels that are too big, you want to have a nice, cozy, compact feel. And this is definitely the hotel for you in Gran Canaria. Next up is the Marina Bayview. This one is located in Puerto Rico, but a little bit on the outside, but I mean not very much on the outside. It's still within easy walking distance from everything. Two minutes from the beach, two minutes from the marina, and about two minutes or three, four minutes maybe from the shopping center where most of the restaurants and the nightlife are also. So this is really an ideal location. You're close to everything, but in the night you won't be disturbed by any of the noise from the shopping center and the nightlife that they have in this area. So great location with great views over the marina, but also the ocean. All of this being close to many restaurants, the nightlife and being in a nice and relaxed location makes this a great adults only destination in Gran Canaria. 
Another hotel I definitely had to include also is the Seaside Grand Hotel. This one is also located in the fancier, more upscale Meloneras area and definitely fits in here well because this is a five-star GL hotel. It's basically like a six-star, but Gran Canaria doesn't have a six-star rating, so it's a five-star Grand Lux or Grand Luxury, big luxury hotel. So this basically meaning that you would think that it's very expensive, but if you book ahead and you book the right room, there are also some very affordable room options here so don't necessarily think that this is outside of your budget uh, most of most people will be able to afford this hotel definitely also it's beautiful gardens beautiful layout beautiful setting everything very grandish and luxurious so definitely a hotel I had to include in this selection as well the next hotel is the Bull Reina Isabel. This I also definitely wanted to include. It's a very unique place to go on holiday. It's located in Las Palmas. Las Palmas is not a touristy destination. It's the capital and lively heart of Gran Canaria in many ways. So for this reason, it's a very unique location here. It's also located right next to the beautiful beach here, the Playa de las Canteras. It's great for those who like to go to the beach because it's really just five meters from the exit of the hotel you are directly on the beach also from here from the hotel you have great views over the beach the ocean and the surrounding area and if you don't like the beach then there's also great rooftop pool and lounge and relax area from where you can enjoy the hotel in the evening there's lots of things to see and do and many restaurants just at the doorstep of the hotel the Rio Club Hotel Gran Canaria is another one of these hotels located in Meloneras. As I explained before, many of the great new modern hotels are in Meloneras. This is why so many of the hotels I selected are in this area. The hotel itself is very big with lots of choice, meaning that there's lots of different pools, lots of different areas to hang out, lots of different activities. There's mini clubs, there's a kids pool, there's really anything you can imagine, which makes it really good for for a family friendly holiday. But there's also another part to this hotel which is aimed at adults only. So either if you're going for a family holiday or adults only holiday, for both those people, I can really advise this hotel. It's very well separated. So if you don't like to have too many children around you, you are very good in the swim up suites with the adults only in the front of the hotel. Next up is the Bohemia Suites and Spa and this is definitely also one of the hotels I definitely had to include in this list. This one is located in the Playa del Inglés and if you're familiar with the Playa del Inglés, it was one of the first started holiday destinations in Gran Canaria. So it's been there from the 50s, 60s and because of this reason many of the hotels in this area or more like old school hotels, I would call them. They are like the one, two, three stars uh, and apartment complexes. But this is a hyper modern, uh, recently renovated, very beautiful new hotel in the Playa del Inglés area, which is one of the reasons I definitely wanted to include it. They have a very personalized service. It's not a big hotel, there's not too many rooms, so you really feel, feel personal attention to you. It's in a great location in Playa del Inglés, it's near everything, near the beach, near the shopping center, near the nightlife. And this is really good with, for an adults only holiday in Playa del Inglés. Definitely one I need and want to advise the adults only Bohemia Suites and Spa in Playa del Inglés. The next hotel I wanted to include is the Rio Vista Mar. This one is located high up on the hill in Puerto Rico overlooking the Playa de Amadoras area, the beach here. This is really a hotel with great and amazing ocean views. It's really unbeatable, one of the most amazing views from a hotel on the island is very family friendly with loads of activities and things to do in the hotel there's loads of sports fields in typical rio style many different pools you can really find everything here and even though it's high up on the hill there is a personalized shuttle service which will take you up and down the mountain if you do want to go to the beach so don't worry about that you can really enjoy both benefits there's the great views but still there's an easy shuttle service that will take you down to the beach when needed and within the hotel you will really find everything to have a great time as well. 
And since this is the second Rio hotel I included in this list, I quickly wanted to point out because pretty much every time I select two of the same group, someone writes in the comment that I receive incentives to include these hotels. It's not true. None of the hotels contributed any free stays, any incentives or anything financially to me for them to be included in this video. This is my independent and honest selection. The only reason there's two Rio hotels in this list is because they have simply a lot of great hotels on the island. I only pick two that are, in my opinion, the best ones. The next hotel is the H10 Playa Meloneras in the Meloneras area, of course, of Gran Canaria, right next to the beautiful Meloneras Beach. So if you like to spend a lot of time on the beach, this hotel is really in the ideal location because it's really right next to it. You can't find any better in this area. So if you want to spend a lot of time on the beach, but also some time at the pool, then this hotel also offers many different pools that you can choose from with all having great views over the ocean and the beach. Also in the hotel, you find great dining with many different restaurant choices to choose from. To see a full list of the best hotels I selected, you can click right here as well. There you will find many more guides of mine. If you don't want to do that right now, that's fine as well. You can have a look at any of these other videos.